Welcome to our next iBeacon demonstration. This is a very exciting demonstration to bring to you today. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to be doing an ordering example or a kind of a transaction model example. And this is something that could be used very easily in commerce. And what's amazing about the iBeacon technology is that when somebody walks into a store, you can get notified and you can place your order, you can complete your order, that order can be processed, and you can... Um, you can just pick it up. Um, so instead of waiting in line, so this has a tremendous opportunity for a magical experience when you're in a business, but also more importantly, um, uh, can help with your operational efficiency, your queue management, things like that. In this particular case, we're going to see a Starbucks example that I put together here. And uh, what we will see is uh, our, our iPad Air right here. Um, this is going to be our host station or order station if you will and we also have our our uh, our, our iPhone 5s and that's going to be the person walking into the store so first off let me introduce you to the the uh, ordering station and I'm going to go ahead and turn on my 5s or my air here and I'm in the application and this is just a simple application and what I want to point out to you is that in this particular example, we don't have any orders yet. It's it's empty at the moment, and we have nothing going on over there. But what's interesting about this is that I can choose what kind of advertisement I want to send throughout the store. So in this particular case, I've got a couple Starbucks examples. I've got my classic, I've got my muffin, and I've got my holiday. And let's go ahead. We're going to start with holiday. Then I'm going to start my advertisement. And notice when I did that, over here... It's telling me, hey, welcome to Starbucks. Feel free to order now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into my app here. And it's telling me that I've got, you know, I'm, I'm at my holiday cheer, my handcrafted holiday beverage. And if I want to, I can go ahead and place my order here. And just so you guys can get a sense of this, I also am going to go ahead and just change the... the uh, advertisement and switch it to something different. We'll see what happens here. But let's say I'm going to advertise for my muffin. Okay, so maybe I want to stop that advertisement and I'm going to advertise for my classic Starbucks. Right, so the, each one of these advertisements could have different messages. They could be a advertisement for the day, for the hour, special offers, things like that. But what we're going to do here is we're going to place an order. So I am going to go ahead and click my order button and I'm going to just click here and it's going to connect to my host station. I'm just going to accept that for right now. And I'll hit done here. And now it's bringing me up uh, an order screen. Now this is just a simplified order screen but uh, it could you know have any number of fields or any number of different information but what's important about this is that whatever I place in here in my order screen um, we're going to be passing it to the, the host station. So I'm going to go ahead and type in some information. And I want a latte. And I want it large. We have that signified as a number. A quantity, one. And notes, I want a double shot. Double shot. And so I will say done. And as I do that, you'll see that over here, on my end over here, I've got my information, my size, my product quantity, some information I'm, I'm doing arrival time, time quoted, quotes to minutes in my mood. So I can um, you know, begin to, to, uh, to place orders here. And let's just say for argument's sake, let's gonna, we're going to switch my advertisement just for fun. And I'm going to go with my classic. And let's order over here again. Just so we have multiple orders. Okay, let's see, my finger, connecting, I'm going to accept that connection. Now the screens here, of course, I would probably make a bit prettier if this was, you know, truly a real world example, but we're just going to go ahead and type in some stuff here. I'm going to type in a few other things. This, these could be pick lists, you know, with different products and reading information off of a web service or something like that or I'm tracking information. So what you're seeing over here is I've got a couple different orders that have come in 
and I am going to go ahead and fill, fill those orders. Now I'm going to go ahead and here, hit here, and if, here's my Allen uh, double shot. I'm going to process this. If I want to, I could edit it if I needed to change it, and then I could complete it, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and complete it, and that disappears, and then I've got my next order, and I'm going to go ahead and complete this next one, and that disappears, and so I have no more orders at the moment. So I hope you guys get the idea of this, but what's amazing about this is that this particular uh, order station, anything can... You, anything can happen when somebody walks in near a beer can. I can be registering information. I can be uh, calling out to a web service. I can be tracking um, you know, previous orders and presenting those previous orders. I can be looking up and making special orders if I wanted to. And I can do peer-to-peer -peer connectivity. So what we saw in this example is I've completed some information uh, on my phone and that transferred over to the desk and then they began to complete my order. So... Um, Hope you enjoyed this particular um, demonstration, this particular interesting use of the new iBeacon technology, and in this case, peer-to-peer -peer, uh, communication. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line. Uh, you can also go look at our website at www.westcompass.com, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Bye-bye.